Okay, welcome back to The Legend of Heroes Trails to Azure. Welcome to Stream Mount Brand. Ah. Uh, hopefully, we'll actually finish the intermission today. Who knows? I feel like this is the never ending intermission. I mean, I've kind of done that to myself by choosing to witness all of my options. But we shall see. I would say it was rewarding. It was just a lot. It was a lot. But if we hadn't done that, I wouldn't have known a lot of information about a fortune teller, who I'm sure will be important at some point. We now know that Wazy is looking for something. Very interested about that. What am I doing right now? I think I'm just going to the party. Theme park? You want me to go to the theme park? Okay. I can make that happen. Potentially. If it lets me. Ah. Oh, that's cute. It's beautiful. If I remember correctly, they do this every night at Michelin. Really now? Then in that case, I'm glad we got the opportunity to see it. All right, we should head over to the guest house. Yes, let's go. Michelin Wonderland is like right across the lake from Crossbell. No. Can they not see the fireworks from the other side of the lake? I shouldn't think too much about it. Today was one heck of a day. Did you have fun, Lima? I sure did. Thanks, Daddy. Yes, dear. Thank you so much for bringing us on this trip. I still think it's weird that this guy is wearing his miner's helmet to the theme park, but maybe he's deathly afraid of fireworks and he knew that they would happen tonight, so he was like, mm. Need my helmet. Protect myself from any sparks, I guess. I already talked to these people. Time to wrap up the vacation. It is. It is time to wrap up the vacation. Oh, this is the arrogant guy. I've been trying to keep from going outside too much after the sun sets these days. Earlier this year, I had a most dreadful encounter with some of Ravage's warhounds during one of my late night walks. Oh, are you the person who I let get hit by one of the dogs? Is that why you're being so mean to me now? Because I let you get like a little bit mauled? It's fine. You kind of had it coming. I'd advise you all to follow my lead. Whatever business you have here, finish it up and head straight home. I'm pretty sure a mafia dog could attack you at any time, not just specifically at night. I don't think they care about what time of day it is. Dog. Hello, Lloyd. So this is where you were, Cecile. And you even have sight with you. You two make an unusual pair. Did you still have something to do before you make your way to the guest house? Oh, I'll be heading over shortly. Zeit escorted me here not too long ago. This place isn't as loud as the theme park, so I thought I'd cool off in the breeze a bit beforehand. Hey, Cecile. It looks like you've got a lot on your mind. Is there something wrong? No, nothing wrong, per se. But you're right about the first part. Maybe now would be a good time to talk about it. You see, they've selected the date for Shizuku's next operation. Oh. Dr. Sayland will be performing a procedure on her in an attempt to restore her vision. Shizuku's having surgery? I am usually fine with anything, like, gore-related, as long as it doesn't have anything to do with eyes. As soon as eyes are involved with anything, I'm like, Ugh, no, can't do it. Nope. I love watching the show Criminal Minds. I don't normally care what happens, but anytime anything to do with eyes comes up, no. No, no. 
skip that episode. She's had several in the past already, but none have succeeded in bringing her eyesight back. I don't, I don't want to think about this, though. Her complications span the fields of surgery to internal medicine to neurology. A complete and total recovery will be hard to achieve. This time, however, Dr. Saland will be trying a new technique that she's been researching for a while now. A new technique? The finer details are outside my area of expertise, to be honest. But apparently Dr. Salen's background in both surgical and neurological science makes her uniquely qualified to perform it. The margin of error is slim, and the doctor wants everything to be perfect, so we recently had the latest equipment brought in from Remiferia. According to Dr. Saland, though, the odds of the procedure succeeding are still 50-50 at best. Wow, 50-50 odds, even after all that. That's troubling to hear. I know, but when I think about all the setbacks she's already endured, this is the best chance she's ever had. I pray this is the time it finally works. Right. Not just for her sake, but for Arios's too. We'll keep Shizuku in our thoughts and prayers, Cecile. Thank you, Lloyd. I'm sure it'll bring her much comfort to hear that. There you are, Cecile. I've been looking all over for you. Elia? Is it Elia? It is Elia. Oh, Elia, is something the matter? Is something the matter for crying out loud? You told me you'd be a little late, ages ago. I was about to tear up the entire resort tracking you down. Sorry about that. We can head over there right now. I'll be seeing the both of you inside, and thank you for the chat. Talking things out helped clear my mind a bit. I know you all have more than enough worries to go around these days, but just remember, Shizuku and I are always cheering you on. So no matter what happens, keep those chins up for us, okay? Thanks, Cecile. We won't forget that. Now then, shall we be off, Elia? Ah, uh ah, -uh, not so fast, Missy. Just what sort of scandalous conversations were you having with my favorite little guy and his pal, hmm? Come on now, let me in on it. She was condoning our marriage. That's right, Elia. That's what happened. I get the feeling that Cecile turned our attempts to cheer her up right back at us. Yeah, that about sums her up, all right. Anyway, we should be on our way to the guest house, too. Dog. Goodbye for now, Zeit. Zeit can't come to the dinner? That's rude. He can go into the theme park. But he can't go to the fancy dinner. Hmm. Hello, Moriaris. Welcome to stream. Hopefully Shizuku's surgery works, though. I mean, a 50-50 is still better than the 0% chance she would have if she didn't get the surgery. So as long as the surgery can't cause her further harm, then why not? Other than, you know, who wants to go through surgery? Welcome to the state guest house at Michelin Resort. Master Lloyd and Miss Ellie from the SSS, I presume. Yep, that is us. Wait, I remember you. Do you? You were the guide who was at the auction, weren't you? They let him keep his job? Ah, now that you mention it. I'm terribly sorry about what happened that night. I never would have imagined my previous employer would turn out the way he at he has. Um, he was holding an illegal auction? With the mafia? How else did you imagine that going. Many of the old servants, myself included, were retained and entrusted with managing the state guest house. It was by the kindness of Mayor Kreuz that we were allowed to preserve our livelihoods. Really now, glad to hear that. 
I'd heard the dignitaries that attended the trade conference also stayed here. You've done the state a great service. My thanks to you both. You're simply too kind. There they are. Hey, Kia. Did you miss me? Of course she did. Yep, I've been exploring with Sully to pass the time. They said that dinner party thingy is going to be starting soon. Did you get to go fishing in the waterfall? We should do that. So hurry up and get to your seats. <laughs> Got it. Would you mind leading the way for us, sir? Of course, please come inside. Lloyd and the others were guided to the guest house's banquet hall. Mayor Croix and his daughter, Maria Bell, arrived shortly thereafter. Warm greetings were exchanged with the mayor, who apologized for his tardiness. At last, the luxurious yet unpretentious dinner party could truly begin. There is an extra chair we so could have had Zeit. Wait a second. Why are the chairs immediately to Dieter's left and right empty? His daughter can't even... His daughter should so at least be at his right hand. She's on the left and a chair down. That's... Okay, whatever, I guess. Once again, I can't apologize enough for keeping you all waiting. After all, what kind of host shows up late to his own dinner party? It's okay, Mr. Mayor. Everybody understands how busy you are. We appreciate all that you have been doing. Yes, but just know that he's only as busy as he is by choice. Guilty as charged. Oh, Bell. I'm usually too busy rehearsing and performing to keep up with politics, to be perfectly honest. That said, there was no avoiding the news of the drastic proposal you made. Can Fran and Noel even hear him? I don't know, Moriaris. I don't think they can. I don't think Fran cares, though. Noel probably cares, but Fran is probably like, whatever, I get to sit next to Noe. This is a win. If we're all being honest, then I should admit that it was something I've been ruminating on since taking office. Frankly, I never intended to include it on the conference's agenda, but the discourse grew a tad heated, and I'd had all I could take. Honestly, Dieter, you lasted longer than pretty much anyone else would have. So I decided then was the time to grab the bull by the horns. And so you did. And now that the curtain has risen, you have to keep dancing until the end, isn't that right? I like her analogy. Precisely. Speaking of the stage, it's my understanding that Archon Ciel will be holding a revival production of Golden Sun Silver Moon. It's so wild that they're holding a revival immediately at the end of the original version. I always thought revivals were like further down the road, like at least one different play, dance, whatever in between, and then you revive it. But they're like, nah, same thing again, just slightly different. It just so happens that the local referendum gauging the public's interest in independence is being held one week after its opening. Such was the reason I invited you and your troop here. Happy coincidence that it is. Huh, go figure. And I appreciate that you did. This break has been a long time coming. Thank you again for inviting us. Thanks. After hearing all that, I feel a bit uncertain about my own place at this table. You know, it is kind of random that you're here, but you're friends with everyone here, so, oh well. 
Oh no, not at all, Miss Noi. You're this table's representative of the esteemed St. Ursula Hospital. I've heard quite a bit about you. I must say, your sterling reputation precedes you. Some even call you the second coming of St. Ursula herself. Believe me when I say it's an honor to meet you. Please, Mr. Mayor, I think you may be exaggerating just a tad. But thank you for your kind words. The honor is all mine. Oh, Father. You do realize you've sung the praises of nobody but the women here, don't you? How about sparing some of those kind words for Lloyd and the others as well? You want him to compliment Lloyd? Who are you and what have you done with Maribel? Oh, my apologies. Being surrounded by so many beautiful young ladies would be enough to sweep any man my age off his feet. Uh, okay. Thanks for sharing? No problem. We're thankful you invited us. That's right. This little diversion was exactly what we needed. Thank you very much, Mr. Mayor. Dieter was clearly hanging out with Olivert too much at that conference. I mean, he definitely needed something to divert his mind from the Blood and Iron Chancellor and Rocksmith or whatever that dude's name was. But but really, you should not have been hanging out with Olivert. Today it was the most fun I've had in a long time. Yeah, me too. Good, good. That was the hope. Forgive me for bringing this up again, but I wish to speak of the harrowing events that transpired at the conference. The terrorists were guilty of trying to destroy the tower, but I never wanted that day to end the way it did. Man, they really have to listen to Dieter's like whole speech with all of this delicious food sat right in front of them, and they can't eat any of it. They don't even get a plate yet until his speech is done. And then there's cakes over on that table. Ugh. Mean. I do believe their sins, nor I do not believe their sins, nor anyone else's for that matter, were grave enough to warrant taking their lives. I intend to work to ensure that such tragedies cannot happen again. As well as to show the people of this world that justice is still alive and well. Oh. Mayor Kreuz. Hearing you say that helps wash away some of the concerns weighing on my mind. I have a question regarding the state independence referendum. Will Crossbell truly become its own political entity if the public votes in favor of it? No. The referendum itself doesn't have the power to make independence a reality. However, the results will serve as a concrete message to our neighbors abroad. Once votes are in, an international public opinion will begin to form. That will be our opportunity to snatch independence from the major powers. Or at least, that's how I imagine it. It is so not going to be that smooth, good luck with that. Ballsy play. You make it sound all too easy. The way I see it, you're leading Crossbell right into dire straits. Yeah, but we were kind of already there. Easy. No, it's exactly as he says. There's no question about the complex geopolitical challenge Crossbell's state independence will present. However, the hearts of mankind are not so frail as to be swept away by the waves of hardship. Even in the face of great adversity, man maintains his dignity and pursues his ideals. I believe the potential to do so is precisely what makes us human. Uncle. The potential to pursue one's ideals with dignity. Well said. 
So yes, the path cross spell must walk will in fact be fraught with peril. But that notwithstanding, my peers and I will struggle and strive in the coming weeks to open that path for us all. However, it will be the duty of the next generation to aim just as high and keep us on that path. Mayor Kreuz took a look around the room, making eye contact with each and every one of his guests. I ask that all of you continue contributing to Crossbell's future in whatever manner you can. Once the dinner party came to a close, Lloyd and the others returned to the third floor of the hotel. Feeling exhausted yet strangely uplifted, they decided to turn in early for the night. And then, 